Hi, this is Dalton with GeoMarvel, and today we'll be walking through adding domains and contingent values within ArcGIS Pro. So first off, I have an open data layer for alleys and parking lots in DC area. So as you can see here, we're in the National Mall area and we're looking at polygons relevant to alleyways and parking lots. So I've added two new fields to the open data set, one for day of week and one for time of day. So first off, let's set some domain values for each of these fields. And to do this, from the attribute table, we'll click the hamburger stack here on the right and go to fields view, which we can now see a list of all of our fields and which domains they are using. As of now, there are no domains to use, so let's go ahead and create one of those domains. So in the top panel, we can see the domains option. Let's go ahead and click that. And here we have our list of domains. As you can see, there are currently none. So let's go ahead and create our day domain. Give it a description, day of the week. This will be a field type text, and this will be a coded value domain. So we have two options for domain types. If we were, for example, using integers, let's say temperature, we might use a range domain, which gives just a range of allowable integers. But in this case, we're using a text field and a coded value domain. So we're going to use a list of options, which are days of the week that a user can choose from. So setting my domain up here, I can now go right to my code value and description for each day of the week. So we're just going to go right down the list and add our domains. And once we've added all our domains, now it's important to hit the Save button. You see we have all our green icons here. That is ArcGIS Pro prompting us, telling us that we haven't yet to save our changes. So let's go ahead and hit the Save button. And now you can see our domain has been saved. Now if we look back at our attribute table, uh, we have not yet established this domain to be associated with Day of the Week, so that would be step number two. And for the Day of Week field, we now want to look at the domain column and apply that day domain. And again, you see the green indicator, meaning ArcGIS Pro is prompting us to save. And now we have this day of week established with the day domain. So if we go back to our attribute table now, and I want to add a value for a particular polygon, and let's say that parking is acceptable here on Mondays. And now you can see the dropdown is providing this list that I have just created. So I can move right down the list and provide a variety of days of the week that parking is acceptable here. So if we go to edit, we can now save our edits and make sure that those are locked in to the data set. All right, we have saved our edits for day of week. Now let's go ahead and create a new domain for time of day. If I go back to my domains tab, let's go ahead and add a new domain. We'll call this time. And for simplicity's sake, let's, let's use text field here and we'll still use a coded value domain. And off to our right, let's go ahead and add some times of day. Simple set of times of day. So we can again see our green. Let's go ahead and save. And domains are very flexible. So if we wanted to come back in here and add one more value, let's say we wanted an 8 p.m. just to round it out. We could go ahead and add that value, hit enter, resave. And now that we have our domains here for the time of day, let's go ahead and jump back to our fields view and apply this domain to the time of day field. So we've got our time of day field here and off to the right. Let's go ahead and hit this drop down and apply it to the time domain. Now again, important to save. So now our edits have saved, and this has just locked in our new domain associations with this field here. Now that we have that, let's go double check our functionality. So back to the, the attribute table. So as you can see, each of the domain options are now available as a dropdown because I've applied the time domain to the time of day field. And once I've made some edits, important to go up here and save. And let's save our edits, and now they've been applied. So now we've established the creation of new domains, how to apply them to a given field, and how to add additional values to each of these domains. 
So now that we've added our domains, let's go ahead and add some contingent values. To do this, let's click back on the fields tab here, and then up in the dynamic ribbon up top, you can see just to the right of domains and attribute rules, we have this button contingent values. And you can see here, we have no contingent values yet. And to create a set of contingent values, we first need to add a new field group. So let's add a field group, and we're gonna give this a name of parking days and times. And then this is still red because we have not yet defined our fields. So our field group, parking days times, is going to correspond with days of week and time of day. And we're going to add these two here. So now these are the two fields that will be tied together with this contingent value. Now we'll go ahead and hit OK, and let's just save it for good measure. And here you can see our field group, parking days times, has a day of week and time of day. So at this point, we can start associating values together. So let's say on Sunday, you can park at 9 a.m., and on Sunday, you can park at 11 a.m. And let's add a few more. Let's say Monday, you can also park 9 a.m. Tuesday is 6 p.m. Friday is 8 p.m. All right, now we have more green boxes on the left, so let's go ahead and save our changes. So now that we've saved our contingent values, let's go ahead and go back to our attribute table. Now at this point, when we go to add a new day of week, for example, let's say we choose Friday. You can see my time of day has been auto-populated with 8 p.m. based on the corresponding contingent value set that we created here. And you can see additional examples of this. Let's say I go for Sunday. Now it didn't auto-populate because our contingent value set for Sunday, for example, there are two time options. So when I select Sunday, I will be given two potential options to choose from. So back at our attribute table, let's go ahead and hit the Sunday option. And then when I hit this, you can see it already prompts me with the two available times that correspond to the contingent value. So let's go ahead and pick another day. You can see Tuesday corresponds only to 6 p.m. And let's say I wanted to do another one for Sunday, but this one was going to be at 9 a.m. This has been a brief overview of establishing domains and contingent values within ArcGIS Pro. If you like this video, leave a comment and don't forget to check out the other videos on our channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.